Today's food processors need real-time pathogen detection that's faster, simpler, and more accurate. Challenges like these are precisely why innovation is the way of life at 3M, and ideas are constantly in motion. We apply creativity and science to make your work life easier and help give you peace of mind. The 3M Molecular Detection System provides a rapid, qualitative technology using unique isothermal DNA amplification and bioluminescence detection. Rapid results are available same day or next day, depending on the assay. That's 3M science, applied to life. At the core of the 3M Molecular Detection System is the 3M Molecular Detection Instrument. Designed with simplicity in mind, the instrument is both compact and robust with a removable heater for easy cleaning and decontamination. The new 3M Molecular Detection software operates the 3M Molecular Detection instrument and automatically analyzes and interprets results. With the ability to communicate with up to four instruments at one time, you can multitask within the application while runs are in progress. The new 3M molecular detection assays come ready to use in your lab. Each kit contains reagents sufficient for 96 tests and includes pre-dispensed lysis solution tubes, color-coded reagent tubes, extra reagent tube caps, and 16 reagent control tubes. These new assays provide reduced time to results and a streamlined protocol that's 30% faster. To assist with your validation process, we offer the 3M Molecular Detection Matrix Control to check for interference. 3M recommends using the matrix control during validation periods when adopting the 3M method or testing new or unknown matrices. The total solution also includes 3M enrichment media and sample collection products designed to optimize recovery and growth of pathogenic organisms, improving testing accuracy and efficiency. Before you begin, it's important to periodically decontaminate laboratory benches and equipment. To do this, prepare a 1 to 5 percent household bleach in water solution or use bleach wipes to thoroughly wipe down the area. The first step with any pathogen testing process is collecting and enriching your sample to bring your target to the detection level of the method. 3M offers a variety of sample handling products to assist with your collection and enrichment needs. Begin by aseptically combining the sample with the enrichment medium according to the product instructions, then homogenize and incubate. When the enrichment process is complete, your sample is ready to be tested for the presence of pathogenic bacteria. First, place the 3M molecular detection heat block insert in the dry double block heating unit and heat to 100 degrees Celsius. Insert a calibrated partial immersion thermometer in the designated location on the heat block insert to verify that the block has reached 100 degrees. Next, launch the 3M molecular detection software and turn on the 3M molecular detection instrument, allowing it to warm up. The 3M molecular detection instrument automatically proceeds to a self-check upon being powered on. The 3M molecular detection instrument takes 20 minutes to warm up. During this step, the light status bar on the instrument will be orange. When the instrument has reached the appropriate temperature and is ready for a run to begin, the instrument status bar will turn green. A run in progress is indicated by a blue color, and when the run is completed, the light status bar will turn solid red. While the instrument is warming up, use the 3M molecular detection software to create a run with data for each sample you are testing. First, select the assay and well type. Then, enter the kit lot number and sample ID in the well details pane. If you are using a matrix control, Link the sample to the matrix control by assigning the same sample ID number to both the sample and the matrix control. 
Sample ID numbers can be entered manually using a barcode reader or using the auto numbering feature. Once all sample information is entered, save the run. Begin the lysis process by removing the enrichment broth from the incubator and gently agitating the contents. Invert lysis tubes at least once before use. Place the number of lysis tubes needed in the empty rack provided and ensure the lysis tubes have been warmed to room temperature before use. One lysis tube is required for each sample and the negative control. The system can test 96 samples in a single run. Use the 3M Molecular Detection Cap-Decap tool, Lysis, to decap the lysis tube strip, one strip at a time. Discard the caps unless the lysate will be retained for retest at a later time. Set the single channel pipetter to 20 microliters. Transfer the sample into an individual lysis tube. Repeat until each individual sample has been added to a corresponding lysis tube in the strip. After all the samples have been transferred, transfer 20 microliters of sterile enrichment medium into a lysis tube. Verify the 3M molecular detection heat block insert is at 100 degrees. Then place the rack with the lysis tubes into the heat block insert and heat for 15 minutes. The lysis solution color turns from pink to yellow. Remove the rack of lysis tubes from the heat block insert and place the rack on the 3M molecular detection chill block insert and wait five minutes. The lysis solution color will turn from yellow to pink, so you know that you're ready to move to the next step. Place the number of colored sample reagent tubes needed in an empty reagent tube rack. One reagent tube is required for each sample, as well as one for the negative control. Next, place the reagent control tubes in the tube rack. If needed, select and place the matrix control tubes in the reagent tube rack. Use the 3M molecular detection cap decap tool, reagent, to decap the reagent tubes, one reagent tube strip at a time. To increase productivity, we recommend using a multi-channel pipetter set at 20 microliters, as shown here. Pipette from the top portion of the liquid. Transfer 20 microliters of each sample into individual reagent tubes. Dispense the lysate at an angle to avoid disturbing the reagent pellet. Mix by gently pipetting up and down five times. Verify visually that mixing has occurred. Using the rounded side of the tool, seal the tubes with the extra reagent caps provided in the assay kit. Attach the first cap and roll the cap tool back and forth to secure other caps. Repeat the reagent pellet hydration process for all remaining samples. Next, Transfer 20 microliters of negative control lysate into negative control tubes and reagent control tubes. Mix the negative control first and reagent control last. Bring the rack to the instrument in a separate area and transfer the tubes to the speed loader tray. To run the assay, first review and confirm the configured run in the 3M molecular detection software. Click on the green Start button in the software and select the instrument for use. The selected instrument's lid automatically opens. Place the 3M molecular detection speed loader tray into the instrument and close the lid to start the run. Samples are analyzed and results are displayed by the software in real time. Positive results will be reported in as early as 15 minutes and the run will be complete in 75 minutes. After the run is complete, remove the 3M molecular detection speed loader tray from the instrument 
and dispose of the tubes. Do not autoclave and do not open the tubes. Better testing begins with better samples, and better samples are obtained when you use the best collection tools. 3M sample collection and preparation solutions provide quality products for every step of your process. For detailed information, including specific enrichment protocols, refer to the product instructions found on our website at 3m.com forward slash food safety. Experience the new 3M molecular detection system and the next generation of 3M molecular detection assays today. Advanced technology simplified. That's 3M science applied to life.